Hey everyone, it's Savannah. Welcome back to my day old tea. Today we are talking all things Disney Dreamlight Valley since the latest update, including the Rift in Time expansion pack, which gives us a new tool, the Royal Hourglass. I've seen a lot of players confused as to how to actually obtain the Royal Hourglass and start using it. So I'm here to break it all down for you. It's definitely first worth noting that you will only be able to gain access to this additional tool if you purchase the expansion pass a rift in time this optional dlc adds a ton of new content to the game it's basically like an entire new game added and in addition to new biomes new characters we also gain access to the royal hourglass the royal hourglass is a really interesting tool and unlike anything i've ever used in any other game with it you're able to find hidden treasure as well as open time rifts but before we get into any of that let me tell tell you how to first get the hourglass. I saw a lot of people confused as to how you actually get this. When we arrive to Eternity Isle, we shortly thereafter meet Eve and we discover that she has been guarding the royal hourglass. Now, if you're having troubles finding the hourglass, it's probably because you need to progress your quest with Eve. Once you've obtained the royal hourglass, you can use it to find hidden treasures and you do this by repeatedly interacting with the hourglass. When you use the hourglass, sand will flow that you need to follow. This works similarly to a game of hot and cold you may have played as a kid, where the closer you get to the treasure, the darker the sand will become. Once you've found the treasure, it's time to repeatedly press the hourglass button in order to pull it out of the flow of time. The treasures that you find can be combined at a time bending table to create new items. I found a lot of interesting treasures throughout Eternity aisle as well as my valley because you can use the hourglass in your home valley. I've found that I can currently find about three to four pieces of hidden treasure in each biome before receiving a message that there's no more hidden treasure in the area to be found. I've even used the hourglass to find a time bending training manual DIY that I can use to change the skill of any of my villagers because now you can make them a time bending buddy and they can help you find even more hidden treasure. Another thing you may have noticed throughout Dreamlight Valley as well as Eternity Isle are these mysterious orbs floating in the biomes. These are actually time rifts and they're amazing for helping you find hidden treasure. To activate the time rift, you need to interact with the time rift using your hourglass and it will give you a limited amount of time to continuously find treasure. A ring will pop up in which you'll need to search for the treasure within that perimeter and I found that once I stepped outside of this circle, the time rift went away, but I was able to go back and reactivate it. So once you activate the time rift, you need to work quickly within the circle to find as much treasure as you can. I seem to be finding one time rift in each biome daily, but let me know if that's different for you. Now I'm finding so much treasure with the Royal Hourglass and I don't know what to do with all of these random items. I found dingle hoppers, I found loot, fire extinguishers, all kinds of hidden treasures. And it just means that my storage situation is going to be out of control in this game. And that is something to take note of in using the Hourglass is that your pockets are going to fill up. So you need to be very organized. That's something that I need to spend some some time doing. Some of the treasures do hint that they may be intended to be given as gifts to certain villagers. And I did try giving a lantern to Rapunzel for instance, and she didn't really have a reaction. So I haven't figured out the gift aspect. Aside from that though, I find that using the hourglass is really enjoyable. I have a lot of fun looking for treasure throughout my valley and aisle. For me, it did take some time to get used to using this tool, but now I feel like Dr. Strange running around my valley opening time portals and I hope with this guide that you are feeling more confident in using the hourglass. If this video helped you out be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I post a lot of Disney Dreamlight Valley content as well as stream this game very frequently so be sure to follow along and turn your notifications on. With that I leave you to go off and do some treasure hunting and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!